Did you know that the current laws make it more financially advantageous to sell your farm or business to a stranger than to your own family? Let me walk through why this is the case and why I believe it is unfair. Right now, farm and small business owners end up paying higher taxes should they sell their farm or business to their children rather than to a stranger. This is the case because the difference between the price at sale and the original price when sold to a stranger is considered a capital gain which in turn is taxed at a lower rate. A capital gain is obtained when an individual sells a capital property at a higher price than the cost it was purchased at, including the expenses associated with selling this property. Conversely, when a person sells to their family member, the difference is considered a dividend and is subsequently taxed at a higher rate. Now what exactly is a dividend? This dividend is just the profit received by shareholders of the farm or business. The reason a change of ownership to a family member is disadvantageous given the present tax structure is that it does not include the right to a lifetime exemption if the sale occurs to a non-family member. This tax scheme is unfair to farmers and small business owners. It's unreasonable that they should be financially burdened for wanting to pass their livelihood to their own family. Last year, Bill C-274 was introduced with the aim of ending this unfair tax scheme. It would have reduced the taxes paid to transfer ownership of farms and small businesses among family members. Unfortunately, the Trudeau Liberals refused to support the bill, ultimately defeating it. I believe that equal tax treatment should be applied no matter to whom the owners sell. This change would have ensured that farmers and small businesses are more easily transferred to the next generation. Indeed, the Canadian Federation of Agriculture projects that over $500 billion in farm assets are positioned to change ownership over the next 10 years. Approximately 550,000 business owners are going to want to change ownership in the next decade as well. This could mean that farmers and entrepreneurs will end up having to adjust their retirement plans by choosing between obtaining a larger pension fund by selling to a stranger and a smaller pension fund by selling to a family member. This is not a choice they should have to make. Often the children of farm and small business owners work for their parents long before they gain full ownership. Because of this, family members often know the ropes better than anyone else and are looking forward to taking ownership as the new generation. As parliamentarians, we have the responsibility to ensure our farms and businesses continue to flourish and not be hampered by unfair tax schemes. Farm families and small businesses are important backbones to our economy. They provide goods and services for Westman and account for many jobs in our area. I will continue to stand up for Westman's farmers and entrepreneurs as well as the best interests of our region.